the joys of gardening. For many folks, it's a peaceful retreat from the worries of the world. These days, gardeners have access to flowers and shrubs from around the world. Many of these exotic plants have found a welcome home in Tennessee. Crepe myrtle. They're tough, they're beautiful, you get all kinds of colors to them. They bloom all summer long. Hostas, great plants work really well right next to native wildflowers. While most exotic plants exist peacefully with their native cousins, some are not as nice. These invasive exotics should be avoided. The most detrimental non-native plant, in my judgment, would be the privet, because it's choking out where these native species used to exist. Of course, you hear about kudzu and bush honeysuckle, and that's an Asian species, and obviously pretty aggressive. You'll see fence rows just completely covered with it. Another danger is the creation of hybrid plants through the process of cross-pollination. That's where you're taking two different species and crossing with pollen, uh, the, the two species, and you end up with the seed from that cross-pollination of a hybrid, and that's where you've got a little bit of the gene of both species. Could these hybrids ever wipe out our native plants? Well, there's some potential to that because we've actually seen in the wild where the Japanese honeysuckle has picked up this coral color, this pink color. If the Japanese honeysuckle can pick up the gene of our native coral honeysuckle, sure, the coral honeysuckle can pick up the gene of the Japanese honeysuckle. And then over time, that gene is getting lost. The Tennessee coneflower is a good example of how native plant species can be harmed by cross-pollination. This species doesn't occur anywhere else in the whole world, but right outside of Nashville in the cedar glades. When people buy the purple coneflower and they plant it and they have Tennessee coneflower there as well, the coneflowers can cross and you get this hybrid. While they may look similar, the hybrid is much taller, has wider leaves. And then on the flower itself, the purple coneflower will be drooping down. This is almost horizontal, completely horizontal. And you'll see a few flowers that are reflexed up, a few flowers that are typically drooping down like the coneflowers. Uh, so on the same plant, you'll see both flowers. We will destroy these plants out of here and keep it straight species Tennessee coneflower. If you decide to grow both coneflowers in your yard, be like Mike and make sure to get rid of any hybrid plants. And if you live out by the glades, I would suggest people not grow the purple coneflower. Whether you decide to go native, exotic, or a combination of both, be aware of what you're planting and how it might affect the world around you. It's just another way we can all enjoy nature at home.